They did a really good job. Can get back up to the crew quarters. I hate doors. I really do. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. And we put this down. And then we're gonna open the door. Life support. Atmospherics. I can understand why they had all the extra security. Pumped over dead body. Ronald Anderson. <laughs> that ticket sticking in there. Is this it? Could it really be my golden opportunity? I've been transferred to security with a guy named Paul and some other guy whose name I don't quite remember. It sounded kind of like Sarge, so I'll just call him Sarge. Either way, I'm glad. Maybe I'll finally make real friends. Paul is mean, but Sarge is okay. It looks like food supplies aren't coming in anytime soon. People seem upset, but there's a lot of alcohol around. I don't drink much because my dad used to, and it got and he got it got scary sometimes. Sarge is still nice when he's drunk, though. Even though he said I'd make a pretty girl. We got a mystery package from the cloning bats today. It was even allowed. To, I was even allowed to type the terminal entry. It's supposed to go to Lab 18. Sarge says we're going to put it in medical storage bay for now. Though it makes really scary noises. It's named Samantha. I liked a girl named Samantha once. Never mind, it's a different person. But then this guy Anthony was stalking her and she moved away. Paul just read that over my shoulder and reminded me the PDAs are for work-related logs only. I don't like Paul. Sarge said I can type whatever I want. The whole ship just shook a whole lot. Power is out everywhere. Everything is locked down. But we can get through some of it because we're security. I hope nobody got hurt when things were flying around in here. People are trying to get the tram station B to work because A is closed. I think we killed some people today. Sarge is angry. He's beating on the window. I'm so confused. Oops. We're so young. Focus, John. Have a heart. Some of them are just fucking kids, Tia. Don't you think I know that? You've only been awake a few hours now. I've been dealing with this for, for it seems like, a lifetime. I'm sorry. You're right. Let's just get on with this. Venting procedures. Vent atmosphere. Attention. Atmosphere vented in tram station B. Yeah, because that corrosive gas apparently didn't stop whatever the fuck uh, wanted to get through that window and into that room I was in. Wait a minute, didn't they try to get to the medical bay but didn't ever come back? Specimen transport. Limb regeneration. Project Kitchen Knife. Can you fix it? No. 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> there is no other way out of there. There has to be. Look around. Fuck, this is all falling apart. This one was from hydroponics. So, you, weird corridor, hallway, and tiny hallway. Alright. So, you. Weird corridor, hallway. Tiny on the hallway. Destination set. Not a good day. This is either brilliant or very, very stupid. We gotta say both. Okay. Progression. It's. It's it's quite like a child, you know. Quantum devices are not permitted in specimen storage. Quarantine procedures initiated. Quantum storage device reset. What? You took my drill, you ass? Looks like the medical facilities. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, you're on the medical bay level one. Your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. So close, but yet so far. Oh, fuck. This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Even on a de- Tell me, John. Why are you working with this jackal? Dr. Milan. Ah. She's been talking about me. Look, I'm nobody. I just want to find my family. Without a family. And alone in the world. Trembles with the cold. Are you trembling, John? Because make no mistake. You are alone. Uh, when you touch a pistol, that means shit's gonna go crazy. Found the body too. He's pretty bloodied up. More power outages today. Damn it! I thought they had the lid on that. People have been way crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today, shaking and scratching, like he was suffering from withdrawals. I checked with the nurses who examined him, and it seems like there are some sort of there was some sort of drug in his. Or blind. 
He swore blind he wasn't dirty and hadn't been taking anything, but they were already preparing a tribunal for the poor guy. The thing is, I believe him. Everybody's been acting a bit peculiar lately. They're putting drugs in people's systems. What's happening to my beautiful ship? That crap is growing up the spine of this baby like cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Milan about this, but he doesn't respond to any of my messages. I know he's reading them, because I get more of those stooges from hydroponics down to click samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner his assistant the other day, and demanded <clears throat> to know when we'd be getting our share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slept in a week and said, Soon. None of us are sleeping properly. I tried to greet each day with a smile, but when the wrenches are getting yeah, the wrenches are getting panicky, not mutinous. I spend my time breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine ports and torching that shit of, off the hall, but I'm worried it's too late for that now. No more engineers, no more hope. When you take those things away, you got nothing left. I'm di dictating this wedged under the main security terminal. I don't think any of those things will hear me, but the rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody was willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I pointed out we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted overwhelmingly for me to try and get help. So I came down here through one of the maintenance access tunnels and programmed the security terminal to mark any individuals with all their PD is still implanted as hostiles. I should at least get the turrets on our side. I'm not sure it'll work, but it's all I can do. I'm alone now, hell, I'm used to it. Never met a right girl and all that. I'm pretty sure I heard Lotus screaming, you know? They're probably all dead now, but I can't know for sure. I could hear those things peeling panels off the floor and walls like they were paper. I'll be damned if they find me, cowering under the floor like that. Guy Fox jumped with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed. Did you know that? They were going to half strangle him and then rip him to pieces. But he cheated the executioners, breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. I'm going to do likewise. Got a gun for my protection. It's the only one bullet left, no, but no matter, I'll need only one. You will know on the intranet. You will know by now that the creatures are using our PDTs to proceed past security checkpoints. To prevent this, I have decided that in each, each in turn, you'll, you'll proceed under armed guard to the primary surgery pod, where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will reprogram the security protocols so that they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not enter the doors to your quarters unless confirmed by the designated password. Today, that word is Aegis. Aegis. Well, whatever. This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouled up engine ports D through G, and after a brief confab with the drive engineers, I can tell you that it's having deter detrimental effects on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long and short of it is the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the bunk growth. Its origin is unknown, although we are narrowing it down. This is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can to find to remove it from fixtures and drive plates without actually damaging the protective casing of the drive force. Good luck, guys. Steve Dryson, Chief System Engineer. <laughs> Wait a minute, is there a way to turn this off? The faint smell of gunpowder lingers around an empty weapon. Do I spill it on it to break the gun? <laughs> Fuck you, electronics. Figuring these things out now. I hate doors. One override coming up. 